Oh, that's definitely crooked. Hopefully this looks good. I really have no idea what this looks like. I got my phone set up on a tiny tripod, not my normal uh, setup because I'm still unpacking here. I'll get to that later. But uh, without further ado, welcome to Levi in the Closet. I don't know if this is like a new season because I'm in a new place, but if you've seen my previous videos, you might notice I'm in a new closet of course, and I'm going to probably, you know, work with different angles and stuff. But for right now, this is how it looks. This is um, a new, I'd say, probably era of Levi in the Closet videos. I'm going to try to get as many in as possible and keep making videos. But, um, you know, just for now, I'm reporting from uh, actually Valley Springs. South Dakota <laughs> in the Midwest. Boo, 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 boo. You know, I don't really edit these videos, but if I would, there'd be like, you know, the like confetti or something going on right now. But anyway, <laughs> um, my item of the day, I'll grab it here. I don't know how I'm really going to start doing. I think I'm going to actually pull the, pull the item out of my closet. You know, the item of the day, Tommy Hilfiger. I want to say like satchel situation. It's a satchel. <laughs> Um, and, uh, I have another one, a black one that I actually use like every single day. Almost. I keep money up in this pocket. Um, and then down in this pocket, I usually would keep like my narcotics. Like I keep a little torch down there and a little, uh, a little, uh, dab, uh, situation. You know what I'm talking about? I'll try to keep this, you know, PG 13 for YouTube and all the, all the kids out there. <laughs> but, um, you know, it's really versatile. It's got a, also a huge zipper on the back that I, um, in my other one, I keep stickers in here because that's another part of my, you know, um, my interests uh, include making stickers and I put those up in the streets. Uh, I might link that, you know, if you want to check it out, I'll have some stickers available if anybody wants to buy them. They're pretty basic. I might start switching up the vibe of those too. Whoa. <clears throat> but anyway. And really, I have no idea how this looks. This could look terrible. And my phone's, you know, at like 15%, so I'm going to try to make this quick. <laughs> that was my item of the day. And um, the topic of this video is online dating. And I've done a couple, I think, videos about online dating, but I've got, you know, more to say. I've gone through some more stuff. And, uh, you know, just um, my perspective on how, like, Tinder, Facebook dating, Bumble... Those are the main ones that I use, but like, if you're going to use something like that, if you haven't already experienced things like this, or, you know, just are curious about online dating or anything like that, you know, this video might be for you. <laughs> um, but, uh, you know, that's been like my main form of communication, I'd say, like other than just talking to my normal friends online and stuff like that, or cause like right now i I really don't know anybody in the area. I've been using uh, all those apps, maybe a little more than I should, but I also don't have a job right now. Like, <laughs> I will have a job eventually, but at the moment, I've been just, you know, messaging a bunch of girls on Tinder, <laughs> um, Facebook dating, you know, like, what's up? Do you want to meet up? Like, trying to, you know, get some dates. And maybe it's a little premature. Like, I need to kind of settle in. It's been about a week now that I've been here in South Dakota, and I am living in my own place. And with no job, you know, I'm... <laughs> kind of just burning through cash like you know to get groceries and like toilet paper and things that I need I noticed like I wake up in the middle of the night I'm hungry and I've got like nothing in the refrigerator <laughs> um but you know that again you know for another video maybe I'll talk about that like living on my own but anyway back to you know online dating I see that as like if I meet girls around here they kind of know what's up and they, you know, can show me around, or I'd like to go out and just have fun, you know, meeting new people, having good experiences. 
I don't use it as, you know, just for hookups. There's a lot of um, profiles that would already say that. They say, like, no, no hookups, or I'm not here for hookups. Really, that's kind of turns me away from them. I'm like, okay, well, maybe that just, you know, I don't want to have to work up to that eventually. Like, I want to kind of go with it. Like, we both would go into the situation knowing that, like, okay, yeah, sex is probably inevitable when we get together. You know, if it's not the first date, it'll be the second date. Because the first one, you know, you're just kind of feeling each other out. Usually, like, if it goes well for me, it'll end up, like, us making out. And then I try not to push push anything on anyone. But uh, that's, uh, I've only had a few dates that, and really just because I don't think I was feeling them as much. And it was kind of like, I wasn't as serious and looking for anything to pursue. Or there was something, you know, like living really far away from each other so it's just like a one-off date you know kind of thing and that's fun too but um just dating with the you know <laughs> I don't know not the goal of like marriage in mind but like you know finding a good partner to be with and but also keeping it casual so it's weird like um before I left Vancouver there were a couple girls that I you know was talking to and I feel you know kind of sad and I almost miss them in a way you know um I don't know if that's you know, like, red pill, you know, I'm breaking my red pill, uh, <laughs> morals to say that, but, like, you know, the girls that I was talking to, like, I miss being able to see them, and, you know, I don't think that's anything to feel bad about, just having a connection with someone, and now I have to form brand new connections in another state, and, you know, that's not always easy, and not, like, you know, like, all oh, my heart is bleeding out for them, but, like, <laughs> you know, it took, you know, a couple steps to get to that point where we were at, so... You know, uh, to my ladies back in Vancouver, Washington that I left behind, uh, <laughs> thinking of you, you know, maybe not for too long. And also, I don't want that to be based off of, like, desperation. Like, oh, I've got no one here. I miss them so much because that was all I had back there. Like, no, I'm going to continue to date here and talk to other girls. But, you know, that, that was a good connection that I formed through dating online and... Some people say you can't really find that. Um, I wouldn't call it love necessarily, but I would say it's like a strong attraction to somebody else. You can find that definitely. And especially if you just keep an open mind about it, don't pressure anybody into anything. Um, you know, just have fun. Like that's my main goal. When I go out, whether it's just one date that I never see them again after, or whether, you know, like we have fun on the first one, we get to know each other, then we'll see each other again. And then see each other again, see each other again, you know. Anytime, I just want it to be fun. And I don't want it to be, you know, all stress. And, you know, sometimes it might be that way. Like, I think that's just inevitable that, you know, if you get frustrated with someone or there's certain things you need to work through or, like, you have to be able to communicate as well. And that's just dating in general. Um, you got to be able to do that. <laughs> I know my... my uh, video layout isn't very organized i kind of go all over the place so if you're still with me i appreciate it um i didn't really have a list of topics i kind of just you know just gonna mentally just spew all my thoughts on a certain subject so if you're following along still i appreciate you uh um yeah so online dating it takes a lot like don't if you haven't already don't expect to just go on there and find the one right away. Like, there's a lot of waiting through um, different profiles. Like, some, I feel like, are just time wasters. Like, they're just on there just to talk to a bunch of guys. Like, they like the attention. Or not necessarily, like, they want the attention. But just, like, it makes them feel good just talking to a bunch of guys. Like, for me, too. Like, it feels good to talk to other girls. But I have the goal in mind of let's meet up. Or you can come over now because I have my own place. <laughs> you know? Yeah. <laughs> But, uh, um, <laughs> but, uh, anyway, yeah, so, like, <laughs> I have that, that's my goal, and if we can get to that point, that's, like, you know, second base, like, first base is, like, texting, and this is, you know, like, through online dating, first base is, like, you're texting, you're actually interested, and then you get to the point of, like, okay, maybe it moves off of that app or whatever, or, you know, uh, that would be it, like, all first base is moving off the app actually texting and being in conversation with each other and talking for a little bit, just kind of getting to know each other. And second base would be, you're actually going to get together. And that requires the girl to keep the date. That requires, you know, 
you set it up you got to be the man you got to figure out something to do you know that's usually on a guy like you got to figure out what to do <laughs> but you know i've had girls come pick me up and that's been <laughs> that was pretty nice like that's what i prefer i don't like driving and i would just tell them that i'd be like look i don't like to drive so you can come pick me up and then I, have, I think that makes them feel a little bit more comfortable too. Like they're more in control. It's not just some strange guy going to come pick them up. They don't know when they're going to go home. Like I'll tell them, okay, hey, I'm ready to go home. I'm ready to call it a night, you know, whatever. And they'll just drive me home too. So that's nice. <laughs> uh, I don't think that's blue pill at all. Like a girl did tell me that, that I was dating for a while. She said, well, you're just like to be a, a bitch boy. <laughs> Cause you like getting picked up and you like being treated nice and blah, blah, blah. I'm like, yeah, like, I just like being treated nice. Like, there's nothing wrong with that. I like being picked up. What, you know, girls like that too. That makes them feel good. Why can't I feel the same? Nothing wrong with that. That's just my, you know, way of dating. And then I know the girl's actually interested. She's willing to come to me, pick me up and drive me around. Then I actually know, okay, she actually wants to be with me a little bit, at least a little bit if she's willing to come pick me up. So then I know, you know, I got my foot in the door to pursue, like, okay, like, how, how it goes from there. Um, <laughs> but yeah, and then also, there's a lot of fake profiles on there, too. Like, if anyone that says, like, oh, I'm a massage, you know, I'll massage you and blah, 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 forget about them. Uh, <laughs> some of them, they'll be like, oh, let's talk on Snap, and then you're talking. They're like, <laughs> I did have this one experience where she said, oh, um... I only see, like, she, she gave me this elaborate thing of, like, oh, she'd do whatever I wanted, you know, she loves, you know, like, making out and cuddling, and, you know, like, you know, I'm not gonna get too explicit, but, like, imagine anything that you'd want as a guy, she said that she'd be willing to do it, and she's, like, the woman of my dreams, basically, and, um, <laughs> and then she said, oh, I'm only gonna see you if you get this certain test procedure is what she called it a procedure done to background check me and then you know i kind of played it off as a joke like you know what like <laughs> i'm only out here breaking hearts that's the only thing i'm uh been guilty of because <laughs> she was saying like i could be a predator i could you know kidnap her i could steal her stuff and i'm like whoa i'm just not here trying to date like if, th if that's happened to somebody in real life that's unfortunate and i'm sorry but um you know, that was just like what she was saying, kind of like a guilt thing that, oh, you need to do this. And she was also sending me provocative pictures at the same time, you know, kind of trying to get my interest up. And I, and I had the, you know, the very uh, strong feeling that this was fake already. So I just knew that. And I was like, if you can hear that, that's weird. It goes off every single night, 930. <laughs> I don't know. That's weird. Loud siren going off. I don't know what it is. I have to get used to that living here. But anyway, um, she wanted me to, you know, click on this link and it brought me to another dating app site thing. And I was very skeptical about it, like already. So I wasn't going to, I, I saw the link actually, and I didn't click on it. I looked it up in Google and I actually like went to that site. I didn't click, like, I give you that advice. Don't click any link that's being sent to you like that. Unless you know it's something else like that you can verify. It's like, okay, this is not some kind of like scam but uh i googled it and then i saw another forum come up of other guys talking about having the same situation happen to them so um yeah if anybody says that or that they want to talk to you on another app like it's okay if you move from one app to snapchat or from one app to texting but if they want to go from facebook uh dating which is pretty secure to a whole other site to a link they send you um, don't do it. <laughs> It'll be a scam or it's only $2 to sign up. Facebook dating is free. Tinder is free. Bumble is free. You can use premium programs, but they don't require you to spend anything, you know? So they are probably wanting you to give them your card information and they'll like wipe all your funds or something. I don't know. I don't want to find out, you know, I'm, I'm not stupid, <laughs> but, uh, yeah, I do advise that. That's one thing about dating. And those are on all, all the platforms. Like, there will be fake ones. Especially if they only have, like, three pictures. And I don't know. Because sometimes I've had ones that I was very skeptical about. This girl that I met. And she uh, she had, like, really bad pictures. And we ended up meeting, hooking up. And then 
you know, like seeing each other quite a bit afterwards and had a really good time. So I don't know, give it a chance. But then if you start to see these things and like, or they start talking about something or right off the bat, they're sending you naked pictures. They're sending you like provocative things. Girls aren't like that. Just be smarter than that, dudes. Like <laughs> be a little bit more aware. Like, you know, girls are going to want to get to know you a little bit better. None of them, none of them are going to start sending you nudes right away. Like you can work up to that point. If you got game, you probably get them to send you nudes if you have game, but if they're just immediately like, Oh, I want you daddy. Like <laughs> that's not what that girl is saying. Like I would have immediately been like, Whoa, that's it's so fake. I can't even stand it. But, um, <laughs> but just be aware there are fake accounts out there. And, um, so yeah, uh, don't rely too much on dating apps. I'm also trying not to do that. That's also me speaking to myself, you know, I'm, in this different situation right now, like, I kind of want to find other things to occupy my time. I've just been sitting around the house, you know, eating and smoking and, <laughs> you know, just whatever. I do have a job lined up. I probably shouldn't have said that then, incriminating myself, but, uh, you know, whatever. <laughs> um, <laughs> uh, but yeah, I do have a job lined up, so I'm going to be much busier now and not just, like, sitting around all day on Tinder, just, like, swiping and swiping and swiping. That's just a waste of time. That's what they want you to do, but... I'm going to be getting a job and, I'm, you know, I have other things to occupy my time. So, yeah. And also, uh, before I wrap up this video, follow me on Instagram at Levi Acid or, um, you know, I'll probably link like my email or something. But if you have any questions or any topics that you want me to speak on or anything that you want um, to communicate with me on, you can either comment or you can uh, hit me up on Instagram again at Levi Acid. Uh, yeah, message me on there and I can make a video on it. Uh, I love you guys and love yourself before anybody else. And I'll catch you in the next video.